There are simply too many cats for the number of homes that want a pet. And we humans are not always the most responsible guardians even when we do accept these animals into our homes. Animal shelters suffer under the weight of high demand for services and too few resources and the result is a burgeoning population of unowned cats that urgently require attention and effective management. Not only that, with the recent event of COVID-19 pandemic have caused the government enforce movement control order to control the spread of COVID-19. Under MCO, many people staying indoors and non-essential businesses including restaurants and roadside eateries were shut and closed. This make the situation of stray animals becoming harder as their usual food and water supply from these businesses are suddenly cut off which causes them to face starvation and dehydration. Satu, which is 10 for safe animals through unity, was established based on our primary goal to encourage everyone to do good deeds towards animals and to help reduce the number of unwanted animals like cats. This project will evoke feeling of sympathy among us to the neglected animals on the streets, which also encourage us to take responsibility for reducing the suffering of the animals involved. These streets animals was also the result of the growing population without having their basic needs to live. So, our vision is more to population control instead of end the suffering of the stray cats by ensuring they get a healthy life and live longer. Therefore, we come out with a mission which will be led by our leader Alex Lam Kaseng to help and protect wild animals, especially during these pandemic diseases. The project team, which comes from the background of expert and professional different skills, will ensure that this project will go in smoothly, even there are many constraints due to this MCO. Before doing on-site activities, we are preparing a proposal which have been checked and approved by our supervisor of this project. Furthermore, we have also announced this project by making a short video and posting on social media such as Instagram and Facebook. After being approved by Kind Starfish Foundation, we started doing a poster of donation and poster for finding the owner of cats. Our team also do a discussion about the flow of this project which include the outdoor activities. During on-site activities, one of our biggest activities is neutering the cats. We are finding a homeless cat at two different places and bring them to any clinic to be spayed. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19 pandemic causes the delay and extension date of the project. The increase in cases at Kota Kinabalu have slowed down our progress and we need to wait until MCO end. On 28 December 2020, we are focused on doing our project, which is finding a homeless cat and find a clinic to be collaborate with. Now, we are collaborating with two clinics since our team member can't gather at the same location due to the increasing number of cases of COVID-19. Hence, we found two clinics that agree to cooperate with us, which is Clinic Haiwan Kota Belut and Clinic Haiwan Sabah Veterinary Services and Supplies at Penampang. So, the project started on finding a homeless cat. It takes three weeks on doing this and finally, we are able to gather 10 cats in total. Next, the process of neutering, which is including 10 days of vaccine, 1 day to neuter, and 7 days for taking care of the cats. After that, the cats can be adopted already. Not only that, we have found one of the Animal Rescuers Association that agreed to do a collaboration with us, which named as Alir Sabah. In addition, we also collect a donation to buy the need of animals and give it to that association to increase their facilities in order to treat all animals there. Last but not least, we will improve some of facilities at Alir Sabah so that they having a comfortable shelter to be living on. 
With the implementation of this project, we really hope that all community aware of their responsibilities to take care of other living things which in need. Now, let us watch these short videos of our activities. Now we are at um, Dr. We have donated 10 bags of cat food and 10 bags of dog food. These can help the owner financial due to COVID-19 and have no worries for the animal food supplement. Not only that, we also built a DIY cat house by using materials that can be easily found and in a reasonable and affordable prices. Finally, it's done and thank you so much for your cooperation, donation and encouragement. May this small project a little bit end the suffering of stray animals out there. So I think that's all from us. Thank you.